Your 21 Alive first alert forecast. I'm issuing a sweater alert this morning or jacket alert or whatever you want. You might probably just take a warm layer with you because we're starting off very cool if you're getting ready to head out the door. We're at 45 here in Fort Wayne. Take a look at Columbia City. 35 degrees this morning. Defiance 39 and temperatures are going to drop a few degrees as we go throughout the morning. So when you send the kids off to the bus stop here in Fort Wayne, temperatures around 7 a.m will be in the low 40s. Places that are already in the 30s, you're probably going to drop another degree or two, so it's going to feel even chillier. This afternoon, when kids are heading home from school, 3 or 4 o'clock, we'll see those temperatures climb into the mid to upper 60s, which is not necessarily warm, but this is where we're supposed to be for this time of year. 67 degrees, 68, 69 degrees is about normal in terms of the high temperature. But as we end the week, it's actually going to feel very nice for those of you who necessarily don't like the fall weather. If you're missing that taste of summer, we'll get that back on Friday. Temperatures are going to climb up into the mid to probably upper 70s on Friday afternoon. So the end of the week is going to feel very nice. But today, you know, not too bad, especially with the fact that we're going to see a lot of sunshine. Friday will bring some breezy conditions at times. We'll see wind gusts anywhere between about 15 and 20 miles per hour. But thanks to the temperatures in the afternoon in the 70s, we're not really going to feel much of a difference. Cloud cover for the past several days. Well, really, the past two weeks have been a tale of two halves because at the end of September, starting the month of October, we saw cloudy conditions, but then we've seen plenty of sunshine since, and we're going to tack on a couple of sunny days here for today and tomorrow. High pressure sitting right on top of us. That's keeping us nice and dry, nice and clear. Rain chances as we go throughout the next 48 hours, they're zero. So don't even bother taking the umbrella with you today or tomorrow. You're not going to need it. Rain is not going to impact any of your plans. But we start to see some of those thoughts change as we get into the weekend. Saturday, we've got the chance for some scattered rain showers later in the day, mostly in the evening. So Saturday, not going to be a washout. You'll still get to, the, to have those outdoor activities going on. It's mostly going to be overnight Saturday into Sunday that we see the best chance for some scattered rain showers, maybe a rumble of thunder. Sunday, the chance for a stray rain shower lingering around. Notice those temperatures are dropping 72 on Saturday, 69 on Sunday, and then that cold front swings through and those temperatures plunge. Monday, a high of 56 degrees and overnight Monday into Tuesday. Take a look at that morning temperature, 35 degrees next Tuesday morning, 36 on Wednesday morning. I would not be surprised, Kayla and Julian, if we're talking about the first frost of the season for Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Oh, Caleb, <laughs> not ready. This not is, the, uh, we're, I mean, nobody's ever ready this no, time of year, but no. I mean, this is what we should expect from October. Sometimes it's yeah. 78 and sometimes it's 58. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. All right, Caleb, thank you so much.